Adonai, Adonai, we worship, we worship the one of God. Ha! 
Wonderful name we pray. Brother, before we sit down, I want you to move around here. At least three persons, you great three persons. Tell the three persons, my brother, my sister, it shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. Jesus, you rise, you shine, you rise, you shine, you rise, you shine. In the mighty name of Jesus, everywhere, everywhere you go, success can be, blessings can be, goodness can be, signs and wonders can be. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be beautiful, wonderful, glorious. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. This night, the time the Lord called the light that we are gathered on Sunday, the Lord will move powerfully in our lives. We thank God for His church. We thank God for His people. Prayer of this night is a night of prayer. It's a night of prayer. The Bible says that we can pray. Can pray with us in the heart. We can pray without a season. Pray without a season. There's nothing in the Bible that says that you should, you should, you should, you should, you should dance without season. Pray without season. There is danger on the road. There is danger in the streets. There is wickedness everywhere. But the Lord shall see us through. The Lord shall see us through. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight is a night of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to pray. We start with prayer. I want us to start with prayer and also end up with prayer. We are going to pray. Fire out of shit. Fire out of bullets into the heavens. Right away now.
The son of God, Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. They are prepared to the prayers that bring people. Now, every power, every power that has put me into spiritual Egypt, lift the world for my life. In the name of Jesus, every power that has put me into the Egypt, lift the world for my life. Since we are going to play this one. Every book can't register. Every book can't register. Bearing my name. I beg you pray that prayer very well. Because the business of the witchcraft practitioner is not to take the death of the thief. Their business is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. They are eating for Drinkers of blood. Your name shall be blotted out of their registers in the mighty name of Jesus. Every book can register. Bear in my name. Cast the name in the mighty name of Jesus. Bear in my name. Thank you for this night. Lord, glorify yourself in our lives. In the name of Jesus. As we go into the world tonight, open our spiritual ears, open our spiritual eyes, teach us from the truth of grace, and at the end of the day, let honor, let glory, let adoration belong to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. For in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's have a seat now. What we are talking about tonight? The title is Ask, Seek, and Knock. What do I say? Seek and knock. John 16, verse 24. Here before you have asked nothing in my name. Ask 
and you shall receive that your joy may be full. In all other versions of the Bible, it says, Peter, have you asked nothing in my name? Ask, and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Ask, seek, and knock. This are all the significant levels of prayer. Ask, seek, and knock. The other of prayer is for God to be attentive to supplications. It's for God to have a little hair to your supplications. It's for God to translate the hours of prayer that are disseminated in the world into manifestation by answering your prayers. I believe God that tonight, whatever the hour that the prayer that we shall shoot, the Lord has answered by fire, answered by thunder, shall answer us in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a wonderful statement by our Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrew, have you asked nothing in my name? What the Lord is saying that when further you ask in his name, he shall answer. And that shall be our Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. We are all a product of destiny. God is the God of plans, purposes, and designs. And each and every one of us, as we gather here on this side of the great divide, there is an entrance for our living. There is a program of the ways and destined by God for each and every one of us that we have to fulfill. We are not those on this side of the great divide on our own. There is a plan, there is a design of God for our lives. There are certain things that each one of us, each one of us, has to fulfill on this side of the great divide before we go to meet the Lord. It is my prayer that each and every one of us we shall fulfill our destiny in the name of Jesus. But again, in the process of the fulfillment of your destiny, we have to pass through all manner of work modes, all manner of wilderness. Some of them are conscious, some of them are unconscious, some of them we weep with it, some of them are willing to we walk into all these problems. We live in an era, we live in an environment of wickedness. Wickedness everywhere. Enemies at home. Enemies in the world, enemies are good. All are do wickedness. The Lord shall deliver us from them in the mighty name of Jesus. God has purpose of our lives for something good. But again, we cannot just sit down. We cannot just sit down. We cannot continue to show body that we cannot continue to show liberty all around ourselves. The same thing that I will lift up my eyes into the hills from where it's coming to help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and earth. That's what the song is. He says, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. When you lift up your eyes onto the hills, what are you trying to do? You are trying to ask. You are trying to speak. You are trying to work. Amen? Because the Lord God is not sitting back in the heavens. He said, there are the third heavens. But you need to ask. You need to seek. You need to knock. I pray that as we ask, as we seek, and we knock tonight, something wonderful, something glorious shall manifest in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. The apostles, the disciples of Jesus Christ, they are part of the church itself. They are part of all the things that the Lord has said about asking and seeking and knocking. But again, when we look at ourselves, when we look at our hearts, when we look at the protagonists of false apostles, pastors, general overseers, or different members of the different churches, what they have been able to do, the way and manner the Lord has been able to do them, or the way and manner they themselves have done themselves, you marvel at the church of God. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the heart of the apostles is different from the heart of the apostles. Is somebody listening to me? The heart, S-T-S, 
and the heart of H-E-R tears is different. The Lord shall help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Seek, seek, and knock. By diligent searching, caused by desire, and seek and knock. What you do not desire, you do not deserve. Simple arithmetic. What you do not desire, you do not deserve. One plus one is equal to two. There is nothing about your notable profession about that. For those who know arithmetic very well or mathematics very well, because I know some of you are professors of mathematics. What you do not desire, you do not deserve. What you do not acquire, you do not acquire. The same thing what you do not require, you do not acquire. The Lord shall help us. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is there. He is a part of them. He is a part of them. He is talking to you. He wants to hear you. He wants to listen to you. He wants to fellowship with you. Your business is to move the hands of God. Your business is to move the hands of God. God. But you are the hands of moving the mighty hands of God. The Bible says that the time of the Bible says the kingdom of God is served by revival and revival take it by force. You have the right to be competent, quote and unquote. You have to have the right to present to be like a You have the right when you have to decide to show nothing, to show nothingness, to be competent you are also on your own. Life is a choice. If somebody is going to heaven, it's by choice. That is the truth. Is somebody telling me? If you have to go to heaven, go to heaven. It's all by choice. That is practical Christianity. The Lord will help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Seek and knock. There are levels in the realm of prayer. The proof of the third comes by asking, seeking, and knocking. To ask is to inquire. To seek is to look for. To knock is to demand. The first book of the desire comes by asking. Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Let's look at it. Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. For everyone that asks receives. And he that seeks finds. And to him that knows, he shall be opened. To him that knows, he shall be opened. For everyone that asketh, receive it. The dictionary defines asking to mean to inquire, to solicit, to request. To inquire, to solicit, to request. For some of us who were opportuned before coming into the Pentecostal arena, we have gone to the Methodist Church, the Anglican Church, or those who have had what we call the Wesleyan experience of the Wesleyan era. The way and manner they pray in the African church, in the Methodist church, in all those places, 
completely different from what we see in the Pentecostal church. Even within Pentecostalism, if you go to deeper life, the way and manner they pray there is different. If you go to redeem, the way they pray there is different. If you go to all, some of these other churches, the way they pray there is different. But thank God for God. Thank God for Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministries. Thank God for Dr. D.K. Rukoya. The eyes of the of these churches are not open. They are seeing their children moving from those churches, moving into Pentecostal assemblies. And all the Pentecostal churches, they are seeing what is happening in Matthew of Fire Miracles Ministries. They are key in into what is happening here. I remember some four or five years ago, is it Young Cho, or what do you call his name? From South Korea. The man who had the largest church, the biggest church, the most popular church in the world. He came to Nigeria. He was with us at the prayer city, hosted by General Overseer Dr. D.K. Ulukoya. He came with his members. But again, he was also able to see in another dimension, in another reality, the essence of the spirit as it's moving in Africa. The essence of the spirit as it's moving in a dispensation in which the Lord God has committed unto the hands of our general overseer, Dr. D.K. Luka, because what they're living in is another dispensation of one of his giant prophets. When prayer points were called at the prayer city, his members, members of Yongicho Church that came with him, they opened their eyes like this. They were looking at our members. Because the kind of prayer to pray here, from the crown of your head to the soul of your feet, and the news, from the crown of your head to the soul of your feet. And they were wondering, they were agape, that this is prayer. You know that what? Today is also another introduction into another level of prayer. And thank God for God. They also now, they have been infected with that kind of manner or pattern of prayer. There are levels of prayer. But God has his people, he has his prophets that he's using at this point in time. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We are talking about Seeking and knocking. The dictionary meaning as defined asking as to inquire, to solicit, and to request. A man who asks is a man who can do without what he's asking for. A man who asks is a man who can do without what he's asking for. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It is a thought. It's not that the Lord will not answer you. But what you're saying is that Lord, at your own time, at your own time, answer my prayer. You understand what I'm trying to say, sir? At his own pace, his own time, ask. It's not that the Lord will answer the prayer. It is different from a man or a woman who desire to cry. Cry. Your cry of is a disturbance. Your cry of is to arrest heaven. Violence is to arrest the attention of heaven. Tonight, your voice shall arrest heavens. Nobody can shut down your voice. As far as God is concerned, 
He loves you. When you open your mouth, his ears are so wide open to recognize your voice. When you open your mouth, you say, in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, ah, that is Pastor Paul. That is Pastor Ladi. That is Sister Yemisi. to you that is God for you the Lord shall answer our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus we need to have this understanding to know exactly where we are gathered here so that when the third prayer happens you know what to do at times you need to get angry you need to have in your spirits. You need to have the spirit of evil. Evil. Karika Boshidaha. When you need to be tired of your situation to move the hands of God. It's a miraculous God. It's a God that works in signs and wonder that works in the miracles. And you are a product of his industry. A product of his factory. Signs and wonders shall manifest in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you pray and you ask, and the interim, the Lord refuses or has not granted that request, it's a matter of choice. He will still grant that request, but at his own pace, at his own time. A man who has is a man who is not desperate. Am I not right, sir? You are not desperate. You are not a desperate in the spirit. Meanwhile, as a soldier, you are supposed to be desperate. You are supposed to be a desperado in the spirit. Mark 10, 17 to 22. Mark 10, 17 to 22. You are going somewhere, man. That is the story of the rich man, man. Mark 10, 17 to 22. And when he was gone forward into the way, there came one running and nailed to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, What could you me good? There is none good but one that is God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Defraud not. Honor your father and mother. And he answered and said to him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said to him, What thing you lack? Go your way. Sell what sweat that you have and give it to the poor. And you shall have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross and follow me. Look at 22. And he was sad at that saying. And went away grieved for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked round about and said to his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? The plan of God for this man is to work with God and to work with God. Look at the prescriptions. Jesus Christ gave to him. If you look at today's world, this man might even be one of the richest in the world at that time. The man looked at his millions. The man looked at his billions. The man looked at his trillions. Me, rich man, to go and sell all my properties, my ships, my aircraft, my industries, sell everything, and become poor and give everything to the poor 
I come and follow you. Follow you to do what? Follow you in sand water. Follow you in slippers. Is it serious, Sophia? <laughs> Can you imagine somebody who drives in a Rolls Royce? <laughs> to start walking the streets of Jerusalem, start walking the streets of Judea, start walking the streets of Samaria, in Sabbath. In weather, one shoots to follow him. Can you imagine? But that is the kind of God. That is the kind of God. That's it. He was not thinking of his eternity. He was only thinking of now, now, and now. Thinking of his work. Thinking of the parties. Thinking of all his nations. Possibly his wives. Because he himself might also be a graduate of the University of Polygamy. Because how can you have all those wives and be following Jesus? What are you going to enjoy? The Lord shall help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. He has a higher call, a calling, a ministry to join with Jesus. He makes that goal. I will not miss my goal. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you will not miss your goal. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus told him that he should sell all that he had and give the profits to the poor. Take up his cross and follow him. And the man went away grieved, unhappy. Grieved and unhappy. He was not a desperado in the spirit. He was not desperate at all. He has ears. He cannot hear eyes. He cannot see. He cannot perceive into what the Lord has purposed for his life. You will not miss your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus. The quest to know the power of God upon his life was not a desperate one. It was completely lackadaisical. Simply lackadaisical, not desperate. The power and the spirit of self has completely overshadowed him. The way of the world has overtaken him. The green light of the world, the red light of the world has overtaken him completely. That shall not be your Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. John 14, Jesus said, And the Son of you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. That is the reason that whatsoever you ask, despite all the situation around you, the Father will still glorify himself. He will still answer you for asking. That is God for you. The only way that we are moving into now is to seek. Matthew 7, 17, 7 to 8. Seek and you shall find. And he that seeketh, find it. Seek and he shall find. He that seeketh, find it. The different defines seeking to mean to look for. Try to find. Hope for. Seek out. Look for. Try to find. Hope, hope for. Seek out.
hunt, hunt for, like a hunter. Somebody wanting to get something by force, by fire. Seek. Hunt. Seek out. Look for. A man who seeks is a man who challenges heaven to open by fire. A man who seeks is a man who challenges heaven to open by fire. To open by force. The respect God gives a man who seeks is different. That is the truth for the man who asks. Who seeks. Who hunts for. Because he also, in his spirit, he has a level of desperation. The Lord will help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. The third proof of your desire is knocking. Ask, seek, knock. Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. To him that knocketh, it shall be opened. What is the dictionary definition of knocking? Knocking is to come to sir. Knocking is to bang. Pusa. To put up. Pusa. Knocking is to come up. To hit up. To hammer. To bang. To pound hard. Knocking. Is the highest level of aggression. Nothing is the highest level of aggression. Bah! Bah! Sir, from time of John the Baptist, the kind of prayer we pray in matter of our American ministry, prayer of knocking. Bah! 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 No rest for Baba God. In NFM, it's knocking. That is God for you. Knocking. No, that is a prayer that delivers the goods. Prayer of aggression. Your enemies are in trouble. If God has to kill for you to move, he will kill. If you have to Can't be challenging God in your life. When the Lord is saying, You are a popular people, the Lord is a popular generation. You cannot afford to be a backbencher in the affairs of life. You are a star. And you must rise, you must shine. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You can't stand up from knocking, knocking, knocking. You'll be part of the knock. Because you have seen the result of knocking.
king. If some of us have not been knocking at the gates of heaven, knocking, we won't be here today. The, the enemies will have been holding parties and parties and parties and congratulating themselves. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. There are doors that will never open or that will knock. That will be truth. A lot of people, their doors are already closed. Like iron, like brass. They need to be shut down to pieces. We heavy, heavy artillery department of prayer. With heavy, heavy caterpillar of prayer to break up the target of pieces. The reason why you have to get angry in your spirit. Father, let your gun out. Father, let it work. Carry kaposh in the heart. Help us for my sake. Why should heaven be closed? Why should it become a backbencher in the affairs of life? Why should the enemy be saying no? Why should he say yes in your life? Who is that enemy? They must see. Against your destiny. Any power, any weird that decide to rise up against you shall die. Yeah. That shall be so. It must be so. Yeah. Jesus. What are we talking about? Knocking. Here, have this book they call Command the Morning. Command the Morning. Command the Morning. I beg you in Jesus' name. If you don't have one, go and buy one. If you don't have one, go and buy one. Command the Morning. That's why the other people of the other religion they have more spiritual experience and exposure than some of us. They're something about them. First time for sir, five for those who read accountancy or accounting or whatever they call it. There are something that people like to like to first out. Thank God for university. Thank God for school. Now, some of us were able to attend some of them. <laughs> <laughs> And the thing about heaven, you have to queue up. First come, first time. And there is other one. Last come, first time. Life oh. Last thing, first out. The people they will come in the morning they will, and they just queue like that. They key into the spiritual realm. While you and myself, we are there. On our bed, sleeping and snoring. <laughs> snoring. Snoring. Remember that day, the Christian, the person wake up at 1 a.m. 
I take authority over this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Be glad in it. This my head do. He shall not have the voice of the enemy. I shall not, I shall shine. The enemy of the bullet will not locate me. Any power that has challenged me in my sleep and in my dreams, no time I shall throw them away. Karika Moshida. Throw them away. Come on the morning. Everywhere I step, I possess the land. Those are the kind of prayers you pray. You have rendered that at 1 a.m., at 2 a.m., at 3 a.m. You go back to sleep. All those ones are already recorded there, assembled there. When you wake up in the morning, they will begin to manifest. They will to work for you. Because you are already keyed in and you have faith, you believe God. And you should walk on his feet. He's alive, baby man. He's alive, baby man. Jesus is alive forever. He's alive. I say, He's alive. Amen. How is he alive? Amen. Jesus is alive forever. What a man of man is Jesus. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He makes the devil to hear. Hallelujah. Oh, he makes the blind to see. Hallelujah. He makes the left to walk. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Oh, 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 hallelujah. 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 Oh, it's a lie. Amen. It's a lie. Jesus is. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Kapuri Kasidaha. You have to discover what God has planned and proposed for you. You need to knock until the doors are open unto you. Men and women that knocks, they are extremely desperately people. Extremely desperate people. Men and women that knocks. If you stand in your way, they are ready to put those you out of their way. They are like tents that have no bricks. Definitely men, definitely men. Men that move the hands of God. They are like train, no brick. You cross that road, you are crushed. They are like caterpillars that can grind you to powder. The Lord will grind your hands to powder. Hear the mighty name of Jesus. They are not ready to stop until they get to their destinations. They are men and women who are prepared to clear up their path everything that will want to hinder them. Those are the kind of men and women, the kind of minister, the kind of pastors that they are breathing in Mountain of Fire American Ministries. People that have strength Spiritually and physically, strength of character. People that can vomit fire. People who can knock. People like a ladder, the teach fights. <laughs> People like a ladder, the teach fights. Do we still have Elijah's? Where are the Elijah's? That's another story. That's another teaching for another day. 
The God of the Bible is still there, expecting you to knock. You cannot afford not to knock. And as we continue to knock, the Lord will answer our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have told you, this is not a night of tautology. Amen? This is not a night of religiosity or sacerdotalism. This is not. It's a night of prayer. Why do you want to pray? Because something glorious must happen in your life. You cannot continue like this. Whether you like it or not, you too, you are going to become a landlord and landlady in this city of Jesus. Whether you like it or not, your children are going to become a bundle of success. Whether they like it or not, for coming to America, you too, you will be able to be in a position to shout continuous and continual hallelujah. Amen. Shout the victory. Will be permanent Amen. in your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to go into some prayers now. But if you are here, you know that you are not born again. You have not accepted Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It is time to do so now. Right up on your feet where you are. If you have not given your life to Christ, it is time to do so or you raise up your hand so that you can publicly come to the Lord. Respectfully rise up before the presence of the living God. If you know that you have not given your life to Christ, just stand up wherever you are and say to the Lord, I come before you tonight. I'm so broken to all my wicked ways. I come to you in humility, in penitence, and in repentance tonight, Father. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Call me to the earth. I'm beginning to have signs and wonders in my life. Let the blood of Jesus begin to and wash off every iniquity, every covenant, everything that I have entered into God, let them be washed clean out of my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. Let good things manifest in my life. Let all things from this from this spirit, from this hour. Begin to work together for good for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. From this second to this minute, I say, Father, to all the old ways, I have become a new person. I come into you, Father. You come into me, Daddy. Manifest yourself. Lord, do this for me. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, I congratulate you. You are new in Christ now. The Lord has accepted you. Do away from all known sins. After this service, please say, our pastor, who will counsel you on what other things that you have to do. You can have your seat. What are you doing tonight? We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We have to pray. Help me stand in prayers. Help me work in prayers. We have to pray until something happens. Let's rise upon our feet. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to fight now.
more aggression. more aggression. Today is a day of victory. Amen. The shepherd side is the winning side. Thank you, Jesus. Every angel of darkness I'm about to go back to my life. What are you waiting for? Jesus.
meant for 11 persons here. Help us! Help us! My pockets! My investments! My pockets! In life! Shall not be thrown to go! In the name of the Lord! Go! Who can be thrown? Help us! My pockets! My investments! your chest and you are going to take this confession. For today, great men of value shall locate me for further blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name we confess. We are going to come up again and instruct the door. My standing blocks shall become my stepping stones in the mighty name of Jesus. For today, my standing blocks shall become my stepping stones. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And finally, we confess like this. For today, today, my family of shame. My family of shame. Please confess it very well. From today, my family of shame shall be converted to family of glory. In 